October, November, 2023. Paper 5, variant 1. Question 1. Uh, this question is actually quite easy. Uh, it's just for those who need uh, further explanation. So that the answer uh, is uh, same as the marking scheme. So uh, I just try to uh, explain uh, as clear as possible uh, what is going on for this uh, to uh, for this question. Question one. Okay, this one is the uh, oxidation of the manganese uh, hydroxide using oxygen. So oxygen is going to react with this uh, manganese uh, two hydroxide, and uh, this manganese two will oxidize to manganese three. After that, the manganese uh, hydroxide that form will further react with the potassium iodide, and potassium iodide will oxidize to iodine. After that, we use the iodines that produce titrate with the sodium disulfate, and to get the concentration of oxygen in uh, the reaction so this is the three reactions that involved uh, first we need to get the moles of the thiosulfate once we get the mole of the sodium thiosulfate then we can get the moles of the iodine then we use the moles of iodines to get the moles of the manganese hydroxide once we get this we can get the most of oxygen so it's actually uh, step by steps we have to get these few moles then we can get the most of oxygen once we get the most of oxygen then we can get the concentration okay so let's start for a part one complete table 1.1 1 .1, uh, so there is a trial run so this one, we just use the final minus initial, so we get the title value. So for the trial is uh, 27.3, run 1 is 27.00, run 2 is uh, 26.70, run 3 is 26.80. When you try to calculate the mean title, you need to choose the two readings that is, of course, nearest. And their difference cannot more than 0 0.1. So the best two values that you can choose is this one and this one. Because their values is uh, the difference is uh, 0 0.1. So it can be used to get the mean title. So you just use these two, right? Sum it up and over two, you get 26.75. After that, uh, calculate the concentration of the oxygens that dissolves in the 25 cm cube of solution. Means we need to get the most of oxygen from the titration. From this titration, uh, we know that uh, the volumes that obtain is uh, 26.75. The concentration of the thiosulfate is uh, this one so 1 times 10 pound negative 3 so we use the mv over 1000 to get the mole right so concentration times volume over 1000 so we get uh, uh, 2.675 times 10 pound negative 5 so this is the mole of the uh, sodium thiosulfate then we can get the moles of uh, iodine so from this equation we know that two moles of the thiosulfate will react with one mole of iodine. So the moles of iodine must be halved uh, of this uh, sodium thiosulfate. So therefore, just use this, this mole, divide by two, so you get this one, right? Divide by two. After that, we can use this mole to get the moles of the manganese hydroxide, manganese three hydroxide. So we use the second equation uh, because we know that the iodine, two moles of the manganese 3 hydroxide 
it will form one mole of the iodine. So therefore, we know that the moles of the manganese hydroxide, it must be double. So here you need to times two and basically you get back this value. Uh, okay, but this is the way. The manganese hydroxide is therefore now is 2.675 times 10 power negative 5. And once we get the moles of manganese uh, 3 hydroxide, okay, it means here. So because we know that from this first equation, the reaction equation, one mole of oxygen will produce or reacts with these uh, four moles of manganese uh, uh, 2 hydroxide form four moles of this uh, manganese 3 hydroxide. Okay, the main idea is this, one mole of oxygen will form four moles, means one mole form four moles. Means when we get this mole, the moles of oxygen is need to divide by four. So means in order to get this, we need to use this mole divided by four. Right? Okay, so therefore is this 2.675 times, uh, times 10 uh, power negative five, negative 5 over 4. So we get this 6.6875 times 10 power negative 6. Okay, here is still not yet finished uh, because this is just mole. So we get the most of oxygen already. So in the 25 cm cube means uh, we need to convert it to dm cube. So it's uh, this one, zero, uh, 25 over 1000. So use the mole over the dm cube now. So we get this 2.675 times 10.84. Part B suggests a suitable piece of apparatus uh, for the transfer of uh, 25 cm cube of the solutions containing uh, aqueous iodine. Uh, so whenever we want to transfer a solution and uh, let's say it's uh, 10 cm cube or 25 cm cube, uh, we can always use pipette. So we use 25 cm cube of volumetric pipette. Part C. Water samples are collected in full seal flask. So means uh, once we get the sample, we're going to uh, make sure no gaps in between. Means no gaps, uh, no air trapped in the flask. So why? Because if let's say uh, there is a, let's say now, uh, this uh, flask is not full in there, it has a certain amount of uh, trapped air. Air, we know that in there, it has oxygen. So therefore, the oxygen in this, uh, this air it will react with the manganese oxide. So, uh, no, it is not manganese oxide. This is a manganese uh, hydroxide, sorry. Manganese hydroxide. And uh, eventually, it will oxidize the manganese uh, 2 hydroxide uh, to the, this uh, manganese 3 hydroxide. So therefore, uh, we need to use the full, okay, silk plus. Okay, this is the reason to avoid any oxygen from the trapped air, this one, okay, in the flask to react with the manganese hydroxide. So means, uh, if let's say no air trap there, uh, then we are no, we know that the oxygen that used is fully from the solution. Let's say like this. So it means oxygen in the solution will react with the manganese uh, two hydroxide then uh, we know that the numbers of moles of oxygen is accurate. Part D, uh, so table 1.2 is given temperature and concentration of oxygen uh, in the mole per dm cube. So this one, we need to find it from the graph. Uh, just use this one and plot. Uh, you should get uh, something like this. Uh, Okay, so this is mine, so you can uh, draw a better curve. So uh, if you use the values in the in this uh, table, so you should get uh, something like this. So means we know that uh, concentration of oxygen uh, is going to decrease when temperature increases. Means when temperature increases, solubility of the oxygen decreases. Less oxygen dissolves. Now part two, 
use the graph to deduce the concentration of oxygen at 25 degrees C. Uh, so 25 degrees C, so is here, uh, is roughly, uh, you, have, you can have your own value, uh, is about 2.55, for mine uh, is 2.55 uh, times 10 by negative 4 mole per dm cube. Circle the most abnormal point on the graph, suggest an explanation for this abnorm uh, abnormally. Assume that uh, there were no error in the measuring uh, oxygen concentration. So this one is the, the most uh, abnormal point, the one that uh, at uh, 10 degrees C, this one. So, uh, and suggest, uh, because it's asked, suggest uh, an explanation for this abnormal. Why? Um, if we try to uh, okay, relate this reading concentration of oxygen to this curve, actually this concentration of oxygen is uh, belongs to the higher temperature. Uh, is somewhere here, somewhere here. Means when the temperature is about uh, about uh, thirteen to fourteen. Uh, the concentration uh, of the oxygen is uh, should be uh, like this means uh, this value so means it's telling us that the actual temperature for the this this set is more than 10 means in this table this one so the 10 degree c is not really the uh, the temperature means this one is the experiment temperature in the table but the actual temperature is actually more than 10 means the actual temperature is more than 10 degrees c that's why we get uh, these uh, the values that lower the expanded expected so again refer to this graph so because uh, this concentration of oxygen is uh, actually belongs to the higher temperature, okay, about 13 to 14, let's say. So therefore, we know that this, this experiment, this set, okay, the actual temperature is, should be higher than 10. Uh, that's the reason why. Yeah? So this is uh, the answer right, from marking scheme. The actual temperature in the solution is larger than the recorded temperature. So that's the reason why concentration is lower than expected, right? So uh, uh, this is a reason. Okay, higher than uh, this. This is a trend actually. Higher temperature, lower solubility. Okay, I hope you understand uh, this uh, relation. How to explain the this uh, abnormal point? Okay, that's all. Thank you.